Hey everyone, it's Chrissy from Everyday Survival Gear, and today we are checking out the Unique Fire UF1504. Um, a zoomy style flashlight that can fit in a 26650, um, and it's got a big ass lens, a spheric lens, a spherical, a spheric, convex. So there it is. There, it looks like it's a bit of PWM on the camera, right? Or is it any more like this? That's a bit strange. Okay, so I already done this video, but I'm filming it again because my voice sounded like I was a little bitch in it. So this time I'm gonna amp it up. So fuck. Ah oh, man, you know when you're trying not to wake up everyone in the house and it's pretty late at night. Well, oh well. So what are we doing? Unique Fire UF 1504. Um, these lights probably came out about 2015, so it's not a new light. You can click away if you don't want to watch it. That's pretty cool. Um, what's different about mine and the um, Older style one is well pretty much nothing, but they are pretty ha hard to get your hands on now nowadays I tried to buy this from Aliexpress Like 40 US dollars 45 somewhere around there and I paid for it paid GST paid shipping And then they told me that they can't ship it to my address Which is a load of shit because you know how many things I bought from Al Aliexpress I just brought some molly cells the 45 amp ones gonna try them out. Hopefully that they're mint um, so what was I saying? So this has got the um, Osram in it, the tiny W1, the 1mm by 1mm LED, uh, and a Convoy 5 amp driver. That's pretty much what I wanted this for. Um, it does about 650 KCD on my best output test. Um, it averages above 600 for all the tests, but my best one was 650. Um, it's kind of a bit tricky to measure because I had to measure it about 10 meters back, and I was getting like the best results the further back that I went. Like anything below a few meters and the uh, LED just looks fuzzy. I never had that. I never had a thrower that can throw this far. So it's not a particularly small light being that it's uh, got a 67mm convex aspherical lens in it. It's convex aspheric. Why did I even write that? So um, yes, uh, the light does weigh, if you want to know a few specs, it does weigh like 470 grams. The head is 71 mils in diameter. Um, the lens is obviously 67 mils, of a, as I said, like a thousand damn times. The body is 25 mils, tail 34 mils, and its length is obviously adjustable. So 160 on the shortest, 160 mils to um, 185 mils extended. So there it is against the C8. It's not like particularly tiny or anything, but then it's not actually too huge, but it is pretty heavy. So. <clears throat> You gotta like make up for the glass lens like somehow. So yeah, that's it there. It does look a lot bigger, but right. So imagine if I had a Beagle FGT, that would be probably not twice as big as this, but maybe actually, maybe twice as big. I don't have one because I can't afford it. I must say, overall build quality is really good. Um, it's not particularly cheap. I ended up getting this from Fast Tech because, as I said, AliExpress wouldn't send it to me. Um, and with 10% off coupon, like one of those sales that I had, I paid like 36 bucks, I think, uh, US, plus like the conversion now is shit, so you got to add a bit on for that. Um, plus, you know, the LED, maybe you're looking like six bucks from K domain, that's US dollars, and the driver is this one of the Convoy 5M regulated drivers, they're like maybe four or five dollars each, so all up, I'm into it, we could say... Uh, we'll call it even. We'll say about 50 US dollars. And it's got comparable throw to a Noctogen K, K1, um, which pretty much uses the same sort of similar setup anyway, but it doesn't have an aspheric lens. Arguably, this is maybe kind of like maybe a better system because it's got more uses than the K1 because you can zoom it in and you can zoom it out. But um, that's for you to kind of decide yourself. Um, I wouldn't actually mind the K1 because it's got the fancy side switch and everything, but I'm pretty happy with how far this throws now. Um, if you want to know any more specs, hard anodizing, I've got no clue, but the anodizing is actually really strong. Um, it does look pretty shiny, so I would say it is a Type 2, but it could also be a Type 3 just with a shiny coat finish. Um, it's not perfect in some spots, but you know, for such a big light, it's not too bad. Um, so it uses a tail cap switch, so yeah, nothing kind of fancy here, you know, uh, reverse clicky, change your modes like that. 
Um, what else? Um, it is actually built pretty cool. It, like the um, the uh, adjusting mechanism for the zoom is like on the inside, so it's kind of covered. So if we go like this, you can see like that. Um, unlike the Komata. So the Komata, you know, has the zooming function on the outside. So you kind of get like dirt, gunk, maybe some peanut butter when you got your grubby ass fucking fingers in there with, with peanut butter. Um, so having this on the inside is kind of better. Like it's kind of like the Bronite B158 system that's on the inside. Um, keeps out dirt, grease and um, stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. It's supposed to be IPX67. Listen, the light is almost 500 gram, over 500 grams with the battery in it. I don't think you're going to be swinging with this light. You could use it hunting on a rifle, but it is pretty heavy, so I'm not sure what most people would use it for. So taking it apart, that's the uh, glass lens there. It is freaking huge, eh? Look at it compared to like, even like the C8, like that side by side. Actually, it looks like the C8, it's out angling it. Um, that's the bezel. That's a tail cap. It's got like one of these little nubs on it. Um, that's probably brass or some shit. Um, I've got a 26650 inside mine. So yeah, um, we can just keep on unscrolling that thing. Oh, we go. And then we get to here. And it's like a reverse thread to get it out, I believe. Or is it the... Or is it the right way? I don't know. And then it is a pill system. Um, in this case, you know, we don't usually like pill systems unless you're giving me eckies. Um, but, um, because it's only like a low amperage LED, it's not really going to matter too much. It doesn't really heat up. And the light itself is like really heavy. You can see there is like a lot of threads there to pass the heat onto the light itself. So yeah, um, that's the 17mm uh, driver that it takes, uh, which is the convoy driver. You can see I even done a spring bypass. Even though you shouldn't, because this LED should be limited to 5 amps. And that's the uh, little Osram there. I don't can't remember its name. Uh, C K S P L M N P one Q. It's some it's somewhere similar around that actually. I've got it. Um, only thing I did change is I did. This comes with like one of these metal kind of gaskets inside here, and I had another light at home that's a zoomy. So I took that metal one out and I put the plastic one in. Cause this takes a sixteen mil um, MC PCB. Uh, yeah, kind of the wires sit around there and I don't kind of want it to short out or anything So yeah, you could also just put like some sort of insulator under there like tape or fucking look it feels like rubbing a nipple or something um, So you could put like tape or some shit in there just to stop it from um, shorting out between positive and the uh, negative So that's pretty much it. Um, we're pretty much gonna do some beam shots now I'll take you outside here. I'm not at home. So you don't have to look at my shitty ass long grass um, but I did do some beam shots down at a jetty and they are pretty crap So don't hold that against me because I didn't know how far I was looking But I got pretty much every single measurement distance wrong, but I'll throw in some snippets from um, from Google Maps and um, Yeah, we'll work it out from there. I guess Yes, one of my videos being crap who would have guessed let's go outside here and um, Give it a swirl a twirl a whirl some shit all right, guys, so I make these um, beam shots pretty quick. This is the lowest mode, mode two, mode three. Uh, doesn't really matter about modes, but this is just how wide the um, the lens can go when you're, when you got it, it's zoomed in, zoomed out. Uh, one of the ways. That's mode four, and that's mode five. So that's the highest mode there. So even though these um, little LEDs, the one mils, they don't put out too much light, but that's more than enough light than what most people will need, I'll be guessing. So I'll... Zoom in. Okay, we'll go to the trees now. So that's actually, we'll go to the end of the fence, right? That's at about 15 meters or so. So you can see it does look pretty cool all, already. So the first tree there is supposed to be 50 meters, but that looks a lot further than 50 meters. That looks almost as far as my 100 meter tree. Actually, no, that's probably the 50 meter tree there. And those next ones down are probably a little bit further. So you can't see it too good, but you can see it like okay-ish. That's at 50 meters. And then according to maps and shit, that one is at 130 meters there. So not bad. Um, so I'll snip to the um, other video that looks pretty shit. And you can check out that video if you want to see distances a little bit further. 
All right, guys, I'm down on the jetty uh, where I am, so that was just a bit shaky. That was just me moving. Um, got the uh, UF, what is it, 1504 um, on its widest zoom setting, so that's how big it looks. Not sure that's the highest mode. What were we at? One too high. So it should be one, two, three, four. That should be the highest mode. Five. That's the highest mode there. You can see even on this like mode that zoomed out the most, it puts out a lot of light. It's just a big ball of light. It's huge. But that's not really why we're here. We're here to see it zoomed in. So we'll zoom it in. Do we zoom it in or do we zoom it out? I can hear so many fish jumping that I want to get my rod and come back down. I think I might after the video. Okay, can you hear him? Can you hear the fish? Okay, so that tree is 30 meters away and you can see obviously at 30 meters it gets there like nothing. We'll go down a little bit more. Oh, I don't want to knock my camera in the water. Okay, so you can see right there, that's pretty close when I measured it to about 100 meters. I'll try and get it like, get it on um, camera for you guys. Not on camera, I mean like I'll try and put it like a maps in, in, in there. So we go further down, a few hundred meters there. Uh, you can still see it on camera because it is so bright. Um, to the headland is even further than, than that. So we're looking like 200, 250 meters there. Um, further down, I'm not sure if you guys can see that on the camera. I'll have to wait till I get home. But that's like three, 400 meters there. So I'm pretty sure I measured it last time it was like 340 350 and not sure how well you can see it on camera but to me it looks like you can still see it on camera it's hitting trees at the end there all that way and with this phone you can see it still clear so we'll come back here to something a little bit closer over 100 meters and uh you can see it does a really really good job i didn't really bring any lights to compare this to because uh this light itself is quite heavy but i do have a c8 with the same led in it and we'll try that compared to this so, two, three, four, right? same driver, and I still haven't even worked it out. So that's the C8 there, and you can see that the C8 doesn't throw anywhere near as far as the uh, other light, as a UF1504. So side by side, you can see that's a massive difference in um, throw there. Huge, huge, huge difference. Well, actually, I'll get some shots of it going into the water. I don't think it's really going to matter, but... It does look pretty cool. It was just raining, so it is going to be pretty murky, the water. So yeah, so overall, this is what I've really been waiting for. The UF1504. It just throws, like, so far. that It's just so cool. 650 KCD. For you guys to be able to see it on camera, that's, like, a big achievement. Because even the um, even the L2, you couldn't see. Or the B1158, you couldn't see that far on camera. But this one, you can all right, guys, I know it's not the best beam shots in the world, but it is pretty hard to get a thrower's uh, beam shot. So we'll finish it off with me not dropping my phone in the water, going all the way to the very end of that headland, which is over 500 meters. You guys probably can't see it, but I can see it pretty good. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll try and zoom it in so you guys can hopefully see it a little bit better. But look at that. It looks like a lightsaber, right? Thanks for watching.